Curious about OpenAI's new AI video app, Sora, and whether it's legal or safe to use? We're here to break it down for you. I'm Jessica, and in this video, we'll discuss the legality of the Sora app. Now let's get started. Sora is a really cool and innovative AI app that allows users to generate video clips that can feature their own likeness and those of public figures, like their favorite social media influencers. You can also use it to reimagine existing video clips and images from your device, or remix videos created by other users. But all of this creative freedom has had some people questioning the legality and ethics of Sora. Does this app open up creators and open AI to copyright infringement claims? Is it ethical to create art in this way using AI tools? Does it fall into a sort of legal gray area? Let's dive deeper into these questions. When it comes to copyright infringement, the company that owns Sora, OpenAI, is asking copyright holders to opt out their characters from being able to be featured in videos created with Sora. Many creators on Sora have noticed a rise in content violation notifications, citing that videos they've created featuring popular animated characters have been removed from the platform due to copyright issues. Sora seems to be trying to get ahead of this, and working with copyright holders to limit if and how their characters can be used to create new AI content on Sora. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman claims that some rights holders he spoke to were excited for the opportunity to have their fans create interactive fanfiction, but we imagine there are likely more rights holders eager to put a stop to their characters being used without their permission. Is creating art through AI tools ethical? This is also a divisive topic. Sora allows users to choose who can use their cameo, which is their digital likeness generated to star in their AI video creations. You can choose to have it publicly accessible, only available to your friends, or only usable for yourself. Users can also indicate how they want their cameo to be allowed to be used. This way they can prevent their cameo from being used in unintended ways. Developers creating these AI platforms need to be mindful that some people will probably use the tools with malicious intent, and they need to put measures in place to prevent this from happening and protect their users. Does Sora fall into a legal gray area? Many people take issue with AI art because these AI systems are trained by viewing original art created by humans, which would infringe on their intellectual property rights. Although it's most likely not the intention of those using these tools to infringe upon the work of real artists, Content created referencing or inspired by someone else's work can fall into a complicated gray area when it comes to ownership and copyright. Navigating this gray area is even more important for creators who may wish to post these videos on monetized platforms like YouTube. So is Sora illegal to use? No, but these videos can fall into a gray area depending on the content within them. We still think Sora is a very powerful tool and can be very helpful for certain use cases. However, the app leaves room for its users to infringe on copyrighted work. While Sora allows rights holders to opt out of their characters being used on the app, those who have not opted out may still have their work infringed upon by users of Sora, whether intentionally or unintentionally. We expect to see more changes made to Sora to account for this legal gray area as the app continues to be rolled out globally. The app is still currently in the invite-only stage, but users can sign up with their Apple ID account without an invite code. As the app becomes more widely available, OpenAI will need to add more safeguards to protect its users and rights holders alike. If you're interested in trying out the Sora app for yourself, check out our beginner's guide next. Click the video on your screen now to watch. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every day.